What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And here we are once again with Samsung's Galaxy devices. And today we're here to talk about how to prevent accidental high data usage by using the feature allowed networks for apps. Now, I can't be the only one who's gone onto YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram just to realize maybe 10, 15 minutes later, I've blown through three or four gigabytes of data before I, of course, get my warning. And this feels like robbery, especially if you pay for a gig of data at say about $10 per that gig, or you go over your data limit and now your speeds are slowed down. So today we're going to help you keep more money in your pocket and keep the data speeds at their maximum by performing this tutorial right here. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's demonstrate how to get to allow networks for apps. In this tutorial, I've got this built-in screen recorder that shows on the screen here. And I really like this because you can see exactly what I'm doing on my device. So we're going to start by swiping down from the top of the display, and this will show us our notifications and our quick settings. And we're going to look for our gear icon. This is going to be our settings, and we're going to tap on it. Now, of course, this is going to open the settings page and we're going to look towards the top at connections and tap on this. And this is going to refresh the page once again to a connections page. And we're going to look towards the bottom and we're going to look for data usage and tap on this option. Now, this is going to refresh the page once again to a data usage page. And we're going to look towards, I would say about the middle at allowed networks for apps. And we're going to tap on this option. And this is also going to refresh the page once again. We're going to have an allowed networks for apps page and it's going to show us all our apps. You can see the list is quite extensive for myself here. That's because I have a lot of apps installed. And you can see under each app, we're going to have the network type. So a lot of these are going to be a default of mobile data or Wi-Fi. So we're going to do a live example here. I'm going to look for an app that might cause us a problem on our mobile data. We're going to actually go for TikTok. And speaking of TikTok, I really hope they don't ban that app. I've learned a lot on that app. I found it very informative and useful. But here we are with TikTok. And again, the default for most of these apps is going to be mobile data or Wi-Fi. You can see this could be problematic if we use TikTok on mobile data and we are unaware or we didn't turn our mobile data off or we didn't connect to the Wi-Fi network. And we can have a defense against this by clicking on TikTok itself. And this pulls down a drop down menu where our options will be, of course, the default mobile data or Wi-Fi wi-fi only or mobile data only and again we're focused on a defense against accidental high data usage to prevent an outstanding bill or a slowdown in our data speeds so the best option you're going to choose here will be wi-fi only and you can see that this changes TikTok to now a wi-fi only usage for network now, of course, it's going to be time for the homework, and that's going to be you running through all these apps here and changing them accordingly, especially for the ones that may have created a high accidental data usage. And if you have time, make sure to return back to this video and let me know what you think. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out. Yeah.